a reading from the New Testament, from the Gullah Bible, South Carolina, well, African South Carolina people. It's based on uh, the translation. Well, let me read the passage, which one I'm going to read. This would be uh, the Apostle Dem 24. Uh, under the Paul E. Essa Tadigona section, and I'll be reading uh, the 25th, I'm uh, sorry, the uh, 12th verse. Gem, uh, the Jews, them ain't find me, the Angi with, Angi with nobody, they's in God house. They ain't find me to stir up the crowd in the Jew meeting house, and they ain't find me to stir up the people in no other house of the city neither. Translation, uh, translation of the King James Version. And they neither found me in the temple disrupting with any man, neither rising up in the people, neither in the synagogues, nor in the city. I'll read it once again in Gala. These Jew, them ain't find me the angry with nobody, they in God house. They ain't find me to stir up the crowd and the Jew meeting house. And they ain't find me to stir up their people in no other side of the city neither. It's a little bit after six in the morning. And, uh, well, I wake up early. I, actually, I woke up earlier than that. Then I do some stuff and then meditate and whatever, you know, like that. chill, drink water, a lot of water in the morning. Mm. Back when I finish here, I'll probably go and make some hot water with some lemon in it. Now, uh, start my day. Uh, just in case folks don't know, uh, this is, uh, I guess, the second reading from the Gullah Bible that I got from Gullah Gourmet down there in South Carolina. And uh, what I plan to do is uh, to read every morning uh, because it's a language. And uh, it's my people, so I come from those people, at least on my maternal side. And um, and the idea really is that uh, when my people uh, got free from, from bondage here in the States, uh, way up over here in the States, um, they had a challenge because they were not educated, they were anything like that. So a lot of folks would learn how to read from the Bible. And so I wanted to feel what it's like if you don't know a language and you just start reading. Oh, short cheat a little bit because they had the translation there, and just to get a feel of the language and to get a feel of, of what my lineage was like when you were purely, I, I guess the word is a bad connotation, but purely ignorant. Ignorant would just mean purely illiterate. Let's put it that way. So that's it. And since my grandmother would read, read the Bible every morning, about six o'clock, she'd be there reading the Bible. It's interesting because I'm an early riser, so I'd be the only one waiting and walk out there. I wouldn't say anything because she'd read. And uh, I just wait. I'm a little kid, right? But here's the interesting thing: she would never ask me to uh, to join her. She would never even include me in in the thing. She knew I was there and everything like that. And she wasn't reading aloud, um, so it was quite interesting. I guess. Well, also I would wake up early, but I would be the one uh, at that particular point giving her insulin, you know, giving her uh, shots uh, because she's diabetic, even at that early time. Uh, so anyway, so every morning I'm gonna read the Bible and post it up like that or the Gullah. Uh this uh the New Testament from the Gullah Geechee folk. Uh, and it's put out by the American Bible Society. So we'll see what happens if I get a handle of this and if you oh, I don't know what you all gotta do. Talk to y'all later. This little well 
a suggestion, well, not a suggestion, a thing that I'm doing, I being me, T, from the Patterson Statement Trains, to bet letting you know what I'm only suspecting. 